Hi guys, you're welcome back to the channel and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a simple birthday flyer in Pezel App. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's go ahead and delay this test over here as we don't need it right now. And having deleted the test, let's go and change the background color to white. So we select color. From color you choose white now having done it like this let's go ahead and import a picture all right I've downloaded the picture from unsplash.com you can also go ahead and download it in case you want to use the same picture all right so click on import and select the picture so here is the image I'll be using so I just have to click on a check mark having done that I'll have to increase the size of the picture to fill the entire working area. Alright. So I think this is okay. Then what I have to do is reduce the opacity all the way down to 4%. Then I'll click on a check mark. And having done that, I'll go ahead and lock the layer at the background. Now the next thing to do right after that is to insert a shape and reduce the radius all the way to 100% and make sure the size of the shape is what you actually want all right in case you want to see the size i can just change the color so that you see the shape clearly over here all right but then i'll be using white for this shape that's what i want to use so i'll be using white for the shape so i'll change the color back to white Alright, so having done that, the next thing is to click on the texture and by clicking on the texture, we are going to add the same image, okay, the one that I've downloaded from unsplash.com, we're going to add the same image to the shape, alright, so let's click on the picture icon, then we select the same image right here, so we just have to crop it to fit into the shape nicely, alright, so having done it like this, let's click on a check mark. Now here we have it, alright, here we have the picture here, so you can reduce the size a bit if you want, alright, you can reduce the size a bit if you want. So the next thing we do is just click on the check mark, you can go ahead and add stroke to the picture if you want, alright. So you click on stroke, enable the stroke, you can make it the percentage that you want, alright. You can leave it at two percent or one percent so i will leave this one at two percent then click on the check mark here you have it all right here you have your texture and the stroke all working together so the next thing to do is you can make a either make a copy of this shape or you set a new shape and reduce the opacity all the way down to zero increase the radius all the way down to 100% so let's do that quickly radius to 100% opacity to 0 and you increase the stroke to a bit 2, 3, 4 yeah I think 4 will be ok so having increased the stroke you just have to give it a color alright then you reduce the size a bit to fit onto the work which you've done first which is the texture and the stroke at the background containing the person's image so you adjust this to fit nicely onto the previous one then you are good to go all right click on the check mark when you are okay with the way it is being done all right so having done this you can go ahead and click the layer button and lock the layers all right but then if you're not satisfied with the thickness of the stroke you can come back and work around it all right go to edit then reduce it all the way down to three then face it back neatly and come back and lock it right here now having done this you are good to go so you can 
go ahead and insert a shape this time a different shape probably this one and change the color to green then reduce the size a bit click on a check mark and rotate the shape like this reduce the size if you want all right now make a copy of it and bring it to the other side as well graphic designing has to be fun all right you have to get be having fun while designing you don't have to be that much really serious just have fun whilst you design it is pretty cool all right and I hope you are learning something new from here. Uh, please, if you are learning something new, don't forget to hit that like button on the video and also uh, leave a nice comment for us to know what you are expecting on this channel. All right, leave leave us a comment and don't forget to share this video with your friends as well. All right, so having done it like this, leave it and click on the copy icon, then change the color to gray. All right, change the color to something like this. But then if you don't know how to do this, uh, you can just go to this. Assuming it is first on the black like this, you just have to move the middle slider all the way to the right a bit. Then when you are satisfied with the kind of color that you want, then you leave it over there. All right. So in my case, I'm satisfied with this one. So I'll just leave it over here and click on OK. So I just have to move the color, the shape for that matter. All the way down to the area I want it to be so I'm bringing it closer to this one then I'll move it down a bit just have to be sure that it fits perfectly onto what I want all right so having done that I'll go back to the layers column then bring it all the way down beneath all the layers all right all the previous uh, shapes that i've inserted hope you can see how it is now all right so i'll go ahead and make a copy of it as well and do the same thing for the second shape so you just have to move it using the position to move it fast fast bring it down and send it to the exact place that you want it to go okay so the same thing when you're satisfied you just click on the check mark and send it backwards all right so you come here where the dots are right for you to move something downwards using in pixel app just tap on where the dots are and hold it then you move or you drag the element all the way down to exactly where you want it to be right so it is as simple as that now the next thing to do is to add our test which is happy birthday so first of all go ahead and write happy birthday so i'll just click on ok then go to font and i'll select one of my special fonts uh, which you can easily access uh, using the link in the description below all right so i'll click on ok and come back and change the color of the font to black so we have black right here then i'll come back and look at the pattern of the font to see that my white is showing clearly so having achieved this i'll position it right in the middle and increase the spacing of it a bit click on a check mark come back to relative position then put it at the middle there we have it now the next thing to do is to actually bring the person's name all right so over here i'll just insert a random name all right it doesn't mean that that is a person's name but just a random name for educational purposes all right so i will choose a name like uh, vincent Vincent Jan 
mate. Alright, so I am assuming this is the name that I want to use. So I just have to change the color to a color similar to the green that we use. Alright, so I'll select the same color. And over here, I'll make it bold. So click on the style and click on B, which will make it a bit bold. Alright, so you can increase the size of it a bit if you want to. Alright, if, if you want to increase the size of it a bit, you can do the same thing. Just make sure that you position it at the middle using the relative position tool. So having done that, you can equally make a copy of it and send it backwards. So let's do that quickly. Click on copy, then change the color of your copy to one of the gray style. Then bring it down right here. Then send it back using the same format that I show you by tapping and holding on the dots right here. Now let's position it nicely beneath the first test. Alright, I think this is okay. And the next thing to do is to write down your wishes or whatever you want to wish the person. You write it beneath it, alright? So let me just go ahead and pick one of the codes over here. Uh, just for educational purposes only, not anything else. And I'll just have to reduce the size of it all the way down. I think 16 is okay. 16, 18, 20, there about should be okay. Then I'll increase the length then change the color to black and use the relative position tool to put it at the middle then i'll click on a check mark and there we have it all right so having done it like this just go ahead and save your work so click on save image and always use the ultra ultra helps keeps your work you know it keeps it to look sharp all right so click on save to gallery and you are good to go. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we keep updating you on whatever is happening in the world of smartphone graphic design. Bless up.